Alrighty. And we're back with some more portal action. Mmm, yes. And I absolutely love the uh, mechanics here for flinging. I remember doing this the first time. <laughs> it was so unlike anything I'd really played in a game at that point, you know? It was, it was super cool to me that a game could preserve physics. And I think that's why I love Valve games so much, is just these kind of little subtle things like, this is just leftover code from Half-Life 2 being slightly modified. That's that's how impressive this was, especially for 2007. Oh, man. And I even remember my parents hating this game because of GLaDOS's voice. They're like, I hate that stupid robot computer game you play. <laughs> it, was, it was a fun time. I mean... You know, like I said, my friends were like, dude, Seth, play play games for us and get achievements. And they were always, like, really impressed by, you know, Portal. Just to watch. I mean, it's a pretty impressive game for when it came out. I mean, nowadays it's kind of nothing. But you got to remember putting yourself back in the shoes of 2007 when this kind of came out. It was more like, oh, my God, there's a game where you can record an instance going to another instance and then, like, preserve physics and shit that's so cool like there's not much like that you know i love that very long time if you feel lightheaded from thirst feel free to pass out an incubate associate will be to revive you with peptic cell and adrenaline you know how many times i've heard that because of redoing this to get like the the fastest clear times oh my god it was unbelievable <laughs> Mentioned required uh, test protocol. We can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. Yeah, I, st I still remember getting all the challenge maps done for friends, and that make it made me. Oh, God, that was awful. I wanted to pull my hair out back in the day. Someone's honking at somebody outside, and it's not me! That makes me feel good, I think. It's been a heck of a day. If someone honked at me, I'd just rip their arms off or something, I guess. Well, not really. I don't think I, I don't think I have it in me to do that. I'm pretty tired. That's why I'm playing Portal instead of NetHack. <laughs> but um, yeah, the next NetHack character is probably going to be a Valkyrie for those of you who are interested. Oh, let's see if I can still do this. There we go. Um, I'm amazed I got that on my first try. And you are an excellent test subject. It's hard to explain, but, you know, coming off of a game like Quake or Dusk or even, hell, Half-Life and Half-Life 2, the mid-air movement in Portal is something I've always had an issue with. Um, and that's just from an FPS player. You know, I think, personally, I'd, especially, like, mid-air movement in an FPS game, I still would call Portal an FPS. Um... It, you shoot portals. So I've had arguments with people about this with this game. But, um... Yeah, I, I definitely think... Is committed to the well -being um... Of all participants. You know... I can't even explain it. It's just one of those things you have to, like, feel. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've said that for years. And whenever someone gets what I'm referencing when I say that, it makes me feel really happy. Oh, come off it. Oh no. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, sometimes that can happen and it drives me nuts. When you're doing this on like the uh, challenge maps, that shit will drive you mad. Oh my god. It still makes me kind of annoyed just thinking about it. And am I the only person that also thought that the like coloration for the portal like system was like blue box macaroni and cheese by Kraft? I, I seriously can't be the only person that thought that. But yeah, when you're doing these challenge maps and you you screw up one of these, um, like, just simple things, it will just make you go super nuts. It is not a fun time. Like, you get a bad cycle on these and you just, oh, it makes you want to snap someone's arms. Oh, for God's sake. I'm going to snap my own arms because apparently I forgot how to do basic things in video games. Oh, word almighty. There we go. It's also funny because in my mind, I can just see where that ball is from screwing this up so many times in the past. <laughs> uh, the frustration was real, man. I Like I said, I think I was maybe 15 when I played this game. 
my only exposure to like FPS games was like Call of Duty 4 and Halo. So I was like, oh, the game doesn't have guns and you don't shoot people, I don't understand. And then like, I was just, you know, gloriously completely wrong. I, I was so blown away by this game when it came out. I still would say this is one of my top 10 favorite games. And if you've ever played it, there was actually a Flash version of Portal, which was admittedly not very good. But it was, it was a pretty bold effort, man. Like, oh god, it's in here. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I want to see if I can do this before I. Oh my god, the ball is in here and it scares the hell out of me. Pretty sure you can just do this. Yeah, but yeah, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Why not? Oh man, I remember. Where's the ball? Okay, okay. I also remember freaking out, like, when I first played this and going, Oh my god, that's the same ball that's in Half-Life 2. Valve, you're such lazy hacks. <laughs> Not really, but still. True. I actually quoted that once, and I made a really good friend. Maybe if I quote it again, I'll end up getting married or something. That would be pretty cool. It is really funny because I think that's what made Portal a good thing, was the jokes were all subtle. Portal 2 just, like I said, it just tries too hard. I do like the line, you might be slightly brain damaged. I think that's a pretty funny line. As well as, I'm a potato, I literally do not have the capacity to care. I think those are two of the most slightly stupid, but they're like my kind of humor. I'm like, <laughs> potatoes don't have brains. But, um... I just felt like Portal 2 tried too hard. I, I felt it was too narrative. I felt like it really wasn't... It felt like a good game, but it didn't feel like a Valve game. I don't know how to explain Due it. Due to mandatory scheduled maintenance, the appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is currently unavailable. It has been replaced with a live fire force designed for military androids. The Enrichment Center apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the, the best, best of luck. luck. I also have three little portal turrets in my room, <laughs> and a companion cube uh, paper thing as well, because I absolutely, I adore these things. That's why I feel kind of bad killing them, but just kind of, not a whole lot. You can see I've just, I've played this game so many times in the past that it's it's definitely hard for me to, like, screw up most things in this game. Oh man, that was dope. Oh, let's see if I can do it. Uh, damn, didn't work. You're mine! You can also stack, I believe it's two of these. No? I guess it's just one. Okay. Well done, Android. The Enrichment Center once again <laughs> reminds you that Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. I absolutely love the noise they make when they go through the Emancipation Grill. <laughs> I just think that's one of my favorite sounds in the game. Just ow, 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 ow. <laughs> you see, that's what makes Portal funny to me. I, I just love the, the subtle, stupid crap. That's what made it funny. Portal 2 was just like, look at the screwed up turret cubes, feel bad. And then there's the, there's the companion cube. It, remember this, you sheep. Remember the cake? That was my biggest gripe. The vital apparatus vent will deliver a weighted companion oh, well. cube in three, two, one. Yeah, it's mine. This weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. Oh, I will. If it takes care of me, that is. The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The Push. enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot, cannot speak. speak. Oh, good times. Good times. Oh, sh wow, that was actually on point. 
I did not expect that, to be honest. Alright, this is the only part in the game that I still just do not like, because I feel I seriously don't know how to solve this other than this one way. And I'm pretty sure it's the right way to do it, but it just feels like it's not. You just gotta play chicken with the ball, and that freaks me out every time. Where is the ball? <laughs> Where's the ball? Okay, I do this every single time I play this game. It is no joke, man. Wait. Okay, it's down there. I wanted to make sure. I'm like... This is what happened last time I played as a test playthrough. I was like, uh... Am I stupid? Oh! Well... Debatably, yes, but... Still. That would have been so perfect, man, if I just... Didn't screw up. Making mistakes. Showing that I'm a human being. I just... You'd be surprised how many, like, takes I will sometimes do for a game just to be like, I got the perfect playthrough. Like, that's what I like to show, if that makes any sense. I'm pretty sure this is the safe spot. I, I don't feel like this is how you're supposed to solve this. I've done this for years, and I still don't feel like that's how you do it. Sandra urges you to disregard its advice. <laughs> I just always have liked that line, too. Uh, I always feel like I do this level completely wrong, and I don't know why. <laughs> I also really like the advanced map version of it. It's pretty cool. I don't know. Everything about this part is always just so nostalgic to me. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck. However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test, and unfortunately, it's a Yeet! Oh, He didn't even enjoy the yeet. That that didn't exist in 2007. Subject on record. Congratulations. You know, if you really want a good favorite meme of mine, look up yeet alligator. I mean... <laughs> For some reason to me, that is like one of the best usages of the, the yeet sound effect. I don't want to spoil it if you've never seen it. It's pretty self-explanatory, I'd hope, but something about how like just... I replicated that event in NetHack once, and it didn't really end the same, but it was still pretty cool. Speaking of such, um, if you want me to do a specific class, just tell me. Be like, play Barbarian, stupid. And then I'll be like, I, I already did. Dummy. No, I'm just kidding. I want to actually beat the game. I I enjoy Barbarians and NetHack. They're fun. They they just feel good, if that makes sense. They, they bust and they make me feel good. Like that Ghostbusters movie. Oh, I hate this part. This is the only part of Portal I absolutely have never enjoyed. It's just this, in like a speedy situation, is enough to drive you crazy. Like, there is so many things that can go wrong right here. If you get the wrong cycle when you're trying to go through the challenge version... I don't... actually, no, don't listen to me on that. I'm pretty sure this doesn't have a challenge variant. I could be wrong, though. It's just, uh when you're waiting on these cycles, it's just so frustrating. That's the only thing I can say I, I enjoy a little bit more about Portal 2, is there's a little bit less stuff like this to deal with. And... Did I do it? Yee. Okay. I can never get that in time. I swear I will bunny hop so hard over there and I will never get there. <laughs> I know there's like the, the weird speedrunning strats where you can pick up like the camera and you do like this weird crouch back jump that's... You can do that in Half-Life 2 as well. Um, and it just propels you up into the air with like infinite momentum. It's a little scummy. I'm not really a big fan of speedrunning tactics like that. I wouldn't even wholesomely consider myself speedrunning the game right now, just playing efficiently. Um, which, I'm not the best player ever. I've already made a couple mistakes, but... You know, I generally would say this is one of the games that got me into speedrunning. Not because it's, like, a speedrunny kind of game, but... It's just... 
Please proceed to the aperture science vital apparatus then for a replacement. You know, I don't think I've ever done that before until just now. I'm a little salty, not gonna lie. Um, that That is interesting. I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to do that. But <laughs> you know what? We're doing it anyways because, you know, in the words of Aperture Science, we do what we must because we can. I feel like I'm about to start an LA Beast video every time I sound like that. <laughs> I absolutely love L.A. Beast, if you're ever curious. Like, there, that man is my spirit animal. He's who we all wish we were on the inside. <sighs> you see, this is where I'm going to start complaining about Portal's antiquated, like, weird, gold sourcey shit physics that just... I don't know, this doesn't feel good well if that makes sense be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions for mm. more information please attend an enrichment center electrical safety seminar i've actually been el almost electrocuted by an electrical fence that just made me think of that <laughs> don't do it it was a really bad story and um i don't like to talk about it it, it sucked I'm not dead, so that's a sign. Welcome to the final test. When, when you are done, done you will place the device into the equipment and recovery annex. Enrichment center regulations mm -hmm. require both hands to be empty before any cake. Oh, cake. <sighs> How you became an internet meme that most people didn't understand. <sighs> I also love this is the only instance, actually no, I'm pretty sure one of the test, advanced test chambers has this, the uh, extreme crazy combine ball. Oh boy. Like, those of you who've never played Half-Life 2, that is literally just a regrouped body group of a combine ball. I've never gotten it to do this either. <laughs> I'm easily entertained. I'm like, oh, ball bounce back, fourth make decal. It funny. Oh. Oh, good times. Simple things, simple minds, you know? Okay. And then let's just go get our cake. You know, because good times. Cool. Some shitty cake, man. <laughs>